The high school golf teams from all across Alabama hit the links in the city of progress today. The Enterprise Girls Golf Team hosted its first Lady Wildcat Invitational at a recently reopened and revitalized golf course. Seven high school golf teams of different classifications from across Alabama flock to Enterprise to compete. The Lady Wildcats golf team is used to traveling two plus hours for many of its tournaments. So when the opportunity came to host one at their home course, the team jumped at the chance. We've been the travel warriors, if it makes sense. You know, we've been in Birmingham, it seems like every week and and girls, there aren't as many girls tournaments as there are boys tournaments that are available for high school athletics. So we thought it'd be a really neat thing to host one. The bridges at Tartan Pines Golf Course was closed for five years before reopening in September and is now home to the Lady Wildcats. It's great exposure, not only for the golf course here, but for the city of Enterprise, because uh, it brings in tourism uh, to the hotels and spending money downtown and, and eating out at restaurants. So it's, it's a benefit for not only us, but as well as the community here. This one day invitational tournament gives the Cats home field advantage and players couldn't be more excited. Other people, I guess, don't really know the course as well. So to come out here and know what to expect on the next hole. Normally we're waking up at like five in the morning. We're hopping in coach's car and <laughs> Today I got to wake up at 7.30, I laid in my bed, I watched TikToks, and I showed up here, so it was really nice to be able to do that. It was absolutely fantastic because I woke up at 7.30, I got dressed, and my own routine was able to listen to my own music in my car, jam all the way up here, and just have a good time. And have a good time they would. The Wildcats motto for the day, don't be nervous, be excited. The girls' motto and home field advantage paid off. The Lady Wildcats won their first ever invitational. This year's tournament was a one-day event, but the course and team hope to expand it to a two-day event with more competing schools in years to come.